The transcript from your video, whether recorded or live, is super useful. Not only good for repurposing for quote memes or blog posts, but also for editing the video as well. Descript has made a big splash with its text-based video editing. StreamYard's transcription service enables us to see the transcript of our recordings or live streams done with StreamYard, but it doesn't quite go as far as allowing us to edit the video by editing the text. We can use the transcript to find specific points in the video to clip out and repurpose. We can also download the transcript for use in say a ebook or blog post or for closed captioning. Not quite descript, but definitely useful, especially if you plan your live show with repurposing in mind, like me. <laughs> I'll share my process and show StreamYard transcription step-by-step -step in the full video. So here we are on the desktop, we're looking at StreamYard, and the first thing we wanna do once, once we're in your dashboard, once you're in your dashboard, in order to find some of the transcription tools, you wanna go into the video library. And so we wanna go on, looking at the left side of your screen, you wanna look, you have home here, you have members, destinations, and right there, the second one from the top, you have library. And so we wanna click on that. Click on that, it shows all of our videos that we have in, in, in your system. Anything that was recorded, anything that was live, this library has it here. And there's a lot of things that you can do with the library, just to FYI. Some, you can actually share these videos from here. You can embed these videos from here. You can put thumbnails on these videos. Uh, there's, there's a lot you can do in the library. In fact, you, know, you can see a couple of those things right here. Now, I'm looking at, uh, let, let's, let's show the transcript, right? We're gonna, we're gonna download the transcript and, and show an example of it. So here, M3 day five, I can click the three dots here. Uh, let's do that one more time. These three dots right on any one of the videos, you wanna click those three. Then here you have edit title, edit and repurpose, uh, upload thumbnail, schedule live stream, share, download. The download option is the one you want. That download option, let's click that. Another pop out comes up and we can select audio video recording, all these other things. But the one we were talking about today is the transcript. This has been added and it's pretty good. So you have the option here to actually select whether you want the VTT file, which is specific for closed captioning and, and or the text file. And you would just select them one by one and hit the download button next to it in order to get that file. Um, I have actually already downloaded this file. And so if I double click here, you'll see both files on the side here. So one at the top is the text file and the, and the bottom is the VTT file. This is the closed caption file. And so here you can see all of the things, all the all of the text from this particular live show right from i think yeah i believe this was a live show not a recording and um all of the text is there you can use that for multiple different things blog posts as i mentioned quote memes if you want to pull things out but i do like how the vtt is uh formatted you can see kind of you know line by line it shows a date and time which can get annoying but at least it's broken up a little bit so there is a little bit more uh options that you have here with the VTT file. So those are what the files look like when you download them. Uh, in order to generate the transcript, because you know, sometimes not for every, it doesn't generate it automatically for every video. We're gonna go in and look at one as an example. Use uh, day four as an example. So we're gonna go in here, uh, we're gonna hit the three dots. Uh, we're gonna go to edit and repurpose. That's the one that we're gonna go to. And I'm just gonna select 16 by nine. We're not gonna do short and real on this one. And so here you can actually see that it has already done a full transcript for, for this one. I wanna, I wanna show one that doesn't have the full transcript. Let's see, uh, edit and repurpose, 16 by nine. Right, so here you'll see it says generating transcript, generating transcript. Uh, so that's what that's what that is for. Gen M3 day four, generating tra transcript, all right? So it will take some time to generate the transcript if you haven't already gone into that particular file or if you have not already uh, asked it to do to do that transcript. Like if you go just hit the three dots and actually download the transcript, it will generate the transcript so that so that if you do go into the editor afterwards, it would already have that transcript ready. 
So we're gonna give this some time to be able to generate the transcript and then we'll take a look at some of the things that we can do once that transcript is generated. Man, that took way longer than I anticipated. Uh, but here we are. Uh, the transcript is done and it, it's, you know, it's a 51 minute, it was a 51 minute live show. So uh, it takes some time for it to kind of generate the, 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 the script for that, the transcript for that. But you can see it even has timestamps here as well, which is pretty cool. So here um, we're going to kind of go through. You can see that I have a countdown clock. I'm going to trim this down to the segment that I need for just the morning motivation piece. For those that don't know, I, I do the morning motivation live, but I just repurposed just the morning motivation piece as a YouTube video. So sometimes it's anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, some 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. So I've got to find where that starts. And I know I normally say something like today's quote or something like that. Um, and so I'm just gonna be looking for that verbiage. I wanna be looking for that verbiage. Okay, of course, now we're at the countdown countdown is done so now you can see as i'm scrolling through it's writing a line through the words that i've already passed as i'm scrubbing through uh the video itself so i'm just kind of glancing at it because i don't need to listen now i can actually use the transcript to figure out okay this is where i am um so i see uh, i'm still looking down I'm still following through here um i don't see uh, thank you so much. Ah, here's a quote by author Ash. You see it down. It's right here from right here at this uh, getting started. Thank you so much. Getting started. Boom, boom, boom. This is where it is. The author Ash. Uh, here's a quote from author Ash. That's right at 6.0. And you can see the line. So boom, getting started. So boom, getting started. Let's let's play from here. That's exactly where I want it. I, that's exactly where I want it. And I can actually click here and go back. You can actually click on the, on the, the uh, text itself to go to that portion of the video, right? So that's, that's, that's actually pretty good. Even though it's not quite video editing, it's actually really close, uh, because you can actually use the, the words to be able to, okay, let me scrub, scrub into this part, scrub into that part. Now I, that's the end point, right? That's my starting point for this particular section. Cause I, I, I start speaking right there. The last thing that I normally say, um, and my video editors do a way better job at this, but the last thing I normally say is something like, and that my friends is your morning motivation. Uh, now let's get to the merch. So now I'm just using what I see on screen because I know, you know, if I see that the merch stuff on screen, that's generally not part of that portion of the show. So I'm just scrubbing backwards, scrubbing backwards, trying to move a little bit quicker because I know it wasn't that long. So right now you're seeing the duration at the bottom is at 13 minutes. So it's somewhere here, it's maybe 10 minutes somewhere there. So it's somewhere here that we started this. So let me see. Uh, I don't see any comments on screen anymore. So now I'm looking, okay, boom, boom. Oh, I see. All right, so 17. Ah, there it is. This is your morning motivation and merch right there. You see that line. And then there's, a, there's another for those who will take the advent, take the challenge today and get started. Start scared, start unsure, but start. Start today and see what happens. Um, I think that's where we'll end it right there. I'm going to put move forward just a little bit more. And yeah, start and and that is the video. So now that is the video. This is what I mean when I say it's not quite video editing, but it kind of is. And so I can hit save as new, name that M3 day for edit it, save it. And now that becomes the video that my team can grab and edit that part up into a video that will stay on the channel. Um, that is how I'm utilizing transcription, both you can use it, of course, to look at what is downloaded. Uh, you can look at it from the text standpoint. You can look at it from the VTT standpoint for closed captioning. If you're using a platform that you need to upload closed captioning for, you get that now. And then you can also use it to edit your video, find those places that you used and be able to organically find them quickly and, and repurpose them into other content. While using the transcript to pinpoint portions of the show that you want to repurpose is great, another tool that helps narrow that down even further is markers. Several streaming platforms use markers and you can just hit it when someone makes a point or says something really dope or to highlight a place where an idea came to you. 
Learn how I'm using markers for repurposing in this video. Click right here to watch and I'll see you over there.